Australian white ibis are an integral part of Australian cultural heritage. For thousands of years, ibis have been sacred to communities and an indicator of environmental well-being. Nesting colonies of wetland birds such as Australian white ibis, heron and egrets are a sign of a healthy wetland ecosystem, and their population health is indicative of the vitality of the wetlands they inhabit. Australian white ibis is common and widespread in northern and eastern Australia, and both its range and abundance in Western Australia is expanding, despite its absence from Western Australia prior to the 1950s. Their behavioural plasticity, flexibility in habitat selection, and tolerance to humans allows ibis to live in urban areas and other areas where ibis were once absent or uncommon. Australian white ibis is a wetland specialist, armed with a long, thin beak and a featherless head for probing the grasslands and soft sediments in search of invertebrates, and long legs for wading in the shallow waters. Their preferred habitats include swamps, lagoons, floodplains, and grasslands but it has also become a successful inhabitant of urban parks and gardens, where they scavenge for human scraps. The arrival of the species in urban environments may be an indication of decreasing quality and long-term changes in the inland ecosystems of New South Wales. As human populations increase at an exponential rate worldwide, there are an increasing number of native residents who are either forced to survive in urban environments, abandon their home, or simply perish. Urbanisation has had a profound influence on the abundance and distribution of avian fauna and global diversity as a whole. However, some species, such as the ibis, have adapted astonishingly well within this built environment, and their population has exploded due to the vast abundance of food and water they have found within it. Many Australians would have had multiple run-ins with this particular wetland bird around the city. They might have even tried to steal someone's lunch if they felt brave enough. Ibis occur in such high densities that they cause economic, environmental and social problems, and are therefore considered as a pest species. In response, land managers have attempted to deter population growth by destroying ibis nests and eggs. Management of these overabundant native species is complicated, as it can be costly, labour-intensive and limited in its success, due to a lack of detailed knowledge of the ecology of urban ibis. As there has been a decline in traditional ibis habitat and nesting sites, their long-term survival needs to be taken into consideration in order to protect existing ibis communities when developing management plans. Despite its proximity to humans and high abundance in cities, knowledge of the Australian white ibis or any of the other 33 ibis species that occur around the world is generally poor. Many species are endangered, critically endangered, or have become locally extinct due to habitat destruction and hunting. The high adaptability of these wetland birds is one to admire. They've adapted their breeding, feeding and migration behaviour to benefit from their surroundings. Even if they do seem to get in the way, they're just a species trying to get by. They're simply misunderstood.